26 wins in the wake of losing Jimmer Fredette and Jackson Emery. It's an amazing accomplishment and a reflection of the coaching skills of Dave Rose and his staff. True Blues' Robbie Bolo closes the chapter on the Cougar season. In its sixth straight NCAA tournament appearance, 14 seed BYU faced fellow 14 seed Iona in Dayton for a shot at three seed Marquette in Louisville. The nation's top scoring offense lit BYU up for 55 points in the first 15 and a half minutes and built up a game high lead of 25 points in the first half. They were hitting shots, you know, and they're they're making everything, and um, they're beating us up and down the court, and um, you know we're we're kind of down, but we weren't out. Fueled by a 17-0 second half run, the Cougars held the Gales to just 17 total points over the last 24 and a half minutes, and completed the largest comeback in NCAA tournament history with a 78-72 win. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mars Madness. <laughs> We just stayed together. The, the key was is that we didn't break. We, we believed in each other and we were able to come back and, and get a big win. BYU moved on to Thursday playing in a 3-14 game for the second straight year, but this time as the underdog. The Cougars struggled out of the gate again, falling behind 18-5 just five and a half minutes into the game. BYU made another comeback, cutting the deficit to six just four and a half minutes into the second half, but Marquette had an answer to every Cougar surge. The Golden Eagles out-rebounded BYU by 14, leading to 13 more second-chance points and an 88-68 victory. We're going to the NCAA every year and, and just playing with these guys has been a lot of fun. and uh, you know They've been like brothers to me, so it's just been a great time being here. I think it should be remembered as the most of the, as the winningest period uh, in any four years in BYU history. I'm definitely coming back. You know, I have a lot I need to work on. You know, a lot of things I have left to accomplish here at BYU. After pulling off the biggest upset in NCAA tournament history in the first four, BYU trailed by the same 15-point margin at halftime in the second round, but didn't have the same second-half magic. The Cougars finished the season 26 and 9 and joined Kansas as the only two programs in the country with six straight 25 win seasons. From the KFC Yum Center in Louisville, Kentucky, Robbie Bolo, BYU TV Sports. Thank you, Robbie. The basketball team is going to get a boost next month when former starter and sophomore to be Tyler Hawes returns from his church mission.